Hello, good evening, everyone. So today we are going to learn about CPQ Twin Pins. So let us start. So what is CPU Twin Pins? So Twin Pins are nothing but the fields that are added on two objects with the same name, same API name, and the same type and same values. Once these two fields are added on two different objects, the data flows between these two objects and within two, these two fields automatically. Okay, now you must be wondering whether this feature is available in all the objects. Can we create this field in all the objects? No, this feature can be implemented for only for those objects which are compatible. Now, whenever you decide to create a twin field between the two objects, then you have to go to this particular link and you have to check whether the two objects which you have selected for which you have to create a twin field is listed or not, or whether these two objects are compatible or not. Once you know that these two objects are compatible, then you can go to the next step. Okay. Now, before we create that, why do we need twin fields? So whenever we want to map the data between the two objects, or we want the data to flow from one object to another object, we use twin fields. For example, let us consider twin field, which is an attribute of a product. So we all know that product object we have, right? So every particular product has its name, product code, product family type, any standard fields. But if you want to add any additional attribute or any attribute which gives you additional information, then that attribute can be replicated on some other object also, okay? With the help of twin field. So let us say if you've added uh, attribute on a product object, and now when we generate a code, we want the code line for that particular product to show that additional information. So whenever you add a product on a code line, it shows some certain attributes of the product, like product family, right? So this attribute, which we have just created as a twin build on product object, that will be shown on code line as well. If we add that same field with the same name, API name and type on the code line object as well, okay? Now, once we create this mapping, the data flows between the product and code line automatically. How? We will see that in a minute. Okay, let us see, uh, uh, let us check the step-by-step -step execution now. Decide and create a field on product object region. For example, we are going to create a region as attribute for every product. So every product will have its region allocated. Okay, whether it can be US or UK or India, anything else, okay? So it will be a, the name of the field would be region and the API name would be region underscore underscore C because it's a custom field. And then the type of the field will be pick list. And let's say that pick list will have a value like India, US, UK, China, etc. cetera. Now create the same field on the code line object. Now, when we are talking about twin fields, we are going to create the exact field on the compatible object. Here we have product and code line are compatible objects. So we are going to create the same name, same field with the same name, same API name and type. Okay. And we will also add the same values in the pick list. Okay. Once these two fields are created, like pre field is created on product also and code line also, then we'll go to code line field sets, and then we will select line editor field set. And then we will add this region field on the line editor field set. We will just drag and drop over there, okay? And we will decide the order of the field wherever we want, we can just keep that field. And then we save the changes. Okay, we're going to see this step by step in the system as well, but I'm just telling you the steps. Next, so this is what I was saying. So here is the product object. We have created a field name that is region, API name as region underscore underscore C, okay? Same field we have replicated on code line object as well. The field name is same and the API name is also same. Obviously it is a pick list field, type is also same and the values are also same. Once, now here you can see, once the field is added on the code line, you can go to code line object, field sets. You will find region somewhere over here, region field. You can just drag it and drop it over here. You can decide the order wherever you want it and then save the changes. Okay, code line item, field sets, line editor, add the field and save the changes. Done. 
So once that is done, so whenever we go to codes and create a code, okay, a new code, and we try to add a product. So we're going to select these two products, US key and UK key. Now what I have done before adding this product into a code, I have allocated a region value for that particular code uh, product, right? So US key is from a US region and UK keyboard is for UK region. So now when we added those products, this region field, this additional attribute about the product is getting displayed on code line. Now we have not added this value in code line, right? But since we have already allocated US value for the product in the system itself, so it is automatically flowing into code line. This is happening because of twin fields. Okay, now we'll see the practical use of it. This is the product object, fields and relationships. And we have this region field created. This is a new attribute for a particular product. For every product, it will be created. And these are the values. This is a pick list value. So these are the values for this particular field. Okay. Now, if you go to code line, code line object, field relationships, we have same field created or replicated. And we have created, I mean, over here. Yeah. You can see the team is same. API ring is also same. Okay, the values are also seen and it is a pick list. Okay, so what is the next step? You go to products. So if you create any product now, new product, or if you take any existing product also, you will have this region field over here and you will have these values. So whenever you create a new product, you select the value so that it will flow to the code line item as well. For example, I've already created two values two products. US keyboard. So you can see the product region is US. So this one, product region is US. Also, if you search for UK keyboard, here is a UK keyboard and it has a region. Okay, it is not updated here. Let us update it. Just see, it's taking time. Okay, let us see it. Fine. So what we have done is we have created the region field on product, the region field on code line. We have created certain products and we associated the region value to those products. Now we are, we are going to create a code. Let us create a new code. I'm just putting some random values for opportunity and account. Okay. Now we have the code created. We are going to add products in it. Add products.
So you can select US here, your keyboard. Okay. Select the product. So you can see the US is replicated over here. So we had added, we had associated this region value in the product while we created a product, we updated the product. The UK also, right? I will add UK keyboard as well because we just updated the value. Select the product. Okay, you can see this. Now, if you add any other product, which you can use monitor. See, region is US. So how, so the twin, this is a twin build, which is helping us to, you know, identify the attribute for this particular product. It's giving the information about this product. So this is how twin builds work. So if you save this data, it will be saved. It is not. Okay. Let me open it again. So you can see the value persist. Okay. I hope uh, you could uh, learn something about Windows today. Hope it was useful. Thank you.